All right, so Bitcoin, let's get into it. Let's get into Bitcoin. Here's what I can see for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is having a nice little pullback, and I would say... So, the magical fairy unicorn dust day has officially happened. So let's look at the past, and nothing happened. And I've, I've said this, and I've been very consistent. I've been saying that it's going to be a nothing burger. So let's look at, at the past having... It was 150 days before it actually started going. You could count this right here if you want to count this too. I mean, this was a, a 30%. I mean, that ain't nothing. That's three years of stock market gain. So let's count this, you know, 70 days before it actually got moving right on the prior iteration. We actually had a significant correction. We're talking the Rolex wearing 31% correction. Okay, that is significant. If Bitcoin corrected 31% tomorrow, well, some of you guys' hairs would be on fire. Until we started getting into the next range, 142 days, 142 days. Yes, long story short, I believe that June is going to start to be like a shift, but probably July or August before things actually start to get rocking and rolling in the prior 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 bitcoin having was 44 days so the least amount of time that we have ever had before we start getting parabolic and we start getting into the actual real deal sex appeal bull run was 44 days and the longest was like 170 days so that's that is what we have to go off of i don't think it looks like i'm super bullish let me preface this any pullbacks at this stage in the game are going to be short-lived it's going to be the shortest amount of time before you're actually in the green so any any pullbacks at this time i am very bullish on i think that things could definitely get worse before they get better okay now, seemingly, we have found a little bit of support, maybe off of the hopium of this magical day, but it's not very much, right? It's hard to even call it resistance because we were only there for six days before we actually broke out. Okay, so seemingly right now, we are finding uh, support here at the prior resistance. That is a good thing. Uh, this is my line in the sand. If we break 59,000, which we poked it two times, if we break through 59,000 we will absolutely be catching minimum the next target which i've had my three targets uh and again let me preface any pullbacks are bullish and they will be short-lived before we actually get into the real bull market in every single prior iteration we're looking at 44 days to 180 days before things actually get going typically this time frame is boring but you guys know what I say, buy the boredom and buy the blood, fade the FUD. Okay, so 61K target, this was the first target that we had. If we break through the line in the sand, which is 59,000, we will absolutely hit target number two, which is 56,000. Uh, short term, I am very bearish and it's going to be bearish and boring. In the medium schmedium term even, I am extremely bullish and I will be accumulating aggressively uh, at this stage of the game because like we have probably about 18 months. I'm bullish medium term, long term, but why am I bearish short term? Because we were absolutely extremely hot. This right here is not sustainable. When you have out of, let's call it 29 weekly candles, you have two, now four. So out of 31 weekly candles, there is four red candles. This is not sustainable. That's that's reason number one in the very short term. This is, this is bearish. And every single halving too, reason number two, every single halving, there was significant corrections. These orange lines right here are are the prior havings every single time before this there was significant corrections 60 days uh before up to 60 days after i'm talking 40 to 50 percent corrections okay so this was c19 this was before but it happens after as well. This is the prior, prior iteration back in 2016. We had a 31% correction. And from this high, it was a 40% correction. And again, each time it was boring for multiple weeks, months before it actually got rocking and rolling. All right, so that is reason number two. This is way different. This is way different. No, it's not, my friend. Let me guess what you're gonna say. It's different this time because Bitcoin made a new all-time high before the halving. That is technically 
correct but not structurally it is not so this is this is understanding the difference between a wick and the structural move so here is the structural move on a weekly chart you can see one two three four five six pokes above it understanding the difference between a wick and the structural move and six rejections at the prior all-time high this is not a breakout we could get a breakout this is not a breakout this is six rejections whilst the rsi was at 93 on a weekly on a weekly rsi that is not sustainable while having 27 of 29 candles weekly in a row green that is not sustainable it's different this time 